Hi, this is Christy Marie Gott. Today I'm going to give you an introduction to using AWeber. AWeber software will enable you to add sign-up forms and subscription forms to your website. You can add those forms in the sidebar, for example, or in your footer, or on various pages, and you can also use those forms on your Facebook account as well. It's easy to post to paste the code that AWeber will give you in on your website in a widget and I'll show you in the dashboard of my site I'll go to widgets and I'll show you how you're going to paste that code in after you sign up for it for AWeber. You'll be dragging one of these text widgets over to your sidebar and then you'll click on a down arrow and then simply paste in the little bit of code that AWeber gives you. I click Save, and there you have it. Your subscription form will automatically appear on the front of your website. Now, let's go look at the front of AWeber and Here we go. And um, after you sign up for AWeber, you'll see that across the top you've got Home, Lists, Messages, Subscribers, Web Forms, Reports. Let's take a look at the Home tab. This is where you can get started. And AWeber makes it easy to get started by giving you what's called a Setup Wizard. This means there's a series of pages that pop up one after another and they simply have boxes for you to fill in. So uh, you simply keep providing the information that AWeber asks you for, go step by step, and you'll complete the creation of your first list and AWeber form and you'll come to the page that has the code for you to paste in on your website. And let's take a look at the series of steps over in their Help menu. When you click on Help, you can go to More Resources and How to Get Started. And we'll take a look at some of these pages that you'll encounter while you're going through your creation process for your AWeber sign-up form. One of the first is going to be called Setting Up Your List. And this page will ask you to name your list. You can just call it uh, the name of your website and call it Newsletter and put a little description of it. This is because later you may have multiple lists. And in the From part of your newsletter. This is where you will put the uh, name and the email address that it's from. And notifications, this is where you'll receive an email every time a new subscriber is added. So you put in your name and the email where you want to be notified whenever somebody signs up. Company branding will give you a place to put the name of your company your website URL, and the email signature that you want to have. For instance, your email signature might have your name and the URL of your website and just a, a little description, a tagline about the website. Here you can click to upload a logo. And after you finish one of these pages, there will be a place where you click to save the settings. Now after that page it goes to what's called the confirmed opt-in. A confirmed opt-in, that's a page that gets sent to someone who signs up for a newsletter or subscription on your website. Um, the opt-in page is sent to their email address and it just says please click on this link to confirm your subscription and you can you can use the automatic AWeber 
opt-in message or you can uh, click and uh, write a little opt-in message for instance thanks for requesting more information about our service just click the information link below to start receiving weekly updates and bonuses that's just an example of a typical opt-in little message and the closing would have thanks again a name uh, perhaps a title and the name of the company now there's two kinds of messages there can be follow-ups and there can be broadcasts the broadcast messages are sent at a scheduled date and time and they these can include you can choose to include the blog posts from your WordPress website and follow-up messages this is where Aweber will give you text boxes to write a series of messages and these will be added to your uh, autoresponding list and now we'll just when you write the message there will be um, various choices you can make in order to personalize the message um, you can have the person's first name and uh, other types of information in it now when you're done with that you click save the message and the next thing is that if you want to create a broadcast message you would go to messages and either choose follow-up or broadcast now a broadcast message is where as I mentioned you can just automatically choose to send your blog posts and you can choose to have that sent uh, for every blog post or for every three blog posts and you can uh, schedule to have these sent immediately after you write a blog post or sent later if it's sent later you can choose by putting in here dates and there also will be choices where you can choose to have them sent weekly or, or or a certain number of days and here's the next part is going to deal with creating a web form now this is just real simple you'll go to the templates page which the wizard will take you there <coughs> and you can choose to look at popular new corporate or other types of web form templates and you'll be able to customize those to suit yourself as well when you click on a template then it'll show up and there'll be a series of color choices just click on the color choice that you want and for editing your form when you slide your mouse up and down the form a box will pop out where you can edit if it says sign up here a box will pop up and if you don't want it to say sign up here you can click and write um, subscribe to the newsletter or whatever you wish to put now the next thing you'll deal with will be settings and this is where you can choose to have the automatic a Weber uh, form for your thank you page or you can choose to uh, record a video or have a custom page or and so on and the um, basic version is a simple page that you can customize with your logo then publishing the form is the last step that you'll get to on the wizard and you can click I will install my form and it's easy to do that because below the form will be your bit of code just right click on that and then uh, go over to your website as I mentioned at the beginning and go to your dashboard go to widgets drag a text widget for example over to your sidebar click the down arrow and just right click and paste that code in click save and there you are your aweber 
sign-up form will be on your website. Now, if you uh, want to look at various features on AWeber, on the main page you can uh, look at the drop-down box about sending email newsletters, website sign-up forms, collecting and managing your subscribers, autoresponder follow-up, performance tracking, there's a lot of different reports, customer support, and a comprehensive features overview. The pricing, AWeber starts at $19 a month for uh, up to 500 subscribers and your first month is just $1. If you need support, you can contact AWeber by email. You can also go to their knowledge base, watch the video tutorials, or sign up for webinars. And additionally, you can go to the AWeber blog to learn more about it. One of the most important things to learn when you're new with AWeber is that if you simply follow up the step-by-step -step wizard filling out the information, you'll get to that last page where you just right-click, copy that bit of code, and then go to your WordPress site, drag the here we are, um, drag that text widget over and paste it in. So if you haven't done email marketing before or pasted in sign-up forms, it needn't be too overwhelming. It's easy if you follow the wizard. Thanks very much for joining me today. There will be some additional videos that will deal further with details about adding sign-up forms to your website. But this concludes my overview and introduction to AWeber.